Hey everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon White. Alright, let's not waste any time, let's get this item over here. And it's a Super Potion. Now, something I didn't really explain too good in the last episode is... The two different Pokemon you can find here in this quest. You can find Pidov, which is usually the generic uh, flying-type Pokemon. And, speaking of the devil, here is a Pidov. Or Pido, Pidov, I don't even care how he's pronounced. But let's go ahead and just run away from it. And you can find Blitzel, which is an, which is an electric type Pokemon. It's a zebra. I think it looks cool, but eh, I don't want to use it. And let me just go and heal really quickly because we're going to head over there after Team Plasma. So, BRB. And we're back, so let's just go ahead and go over there. And there seems to be an item over there. But first, let's go here. They're ready, so here. Yeah, they're fine. I already healed up. Then, let's go. Let's go in here. Here we have these Team Plasma Grunts. And a Wild Encounter, of course. That is going to be a Rock and Rolla. Which, it's a Rock-type Pokemon, and it's actually a pretty good defensively, but... Overall, it's not that great of a Pokemon in-game, in my opinion. And I can't... To get its uh, full evolution, you need to trade. So, I can't get it. Oh, t -t 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 stop critting me, please. Jeez. Doom is like. It, it really is the new Clefairy on my team. I mean, it's getting critted, it's getting, getting all sorts of stuff. But here we have Team Plasma. Bunch doesn't really listen to reason. No, because they're Team Plasma, they can't listen to anything. Uh huh. No, you will not take my Pokemon. Then, let's go ahead and have ourselves a little merry battle. The Team Plasma Grunt. He's going to have a Patrat. Which, uh, you know, you may shouldn't have too much of a problem with Patrats. So let's just go ahead and go for a side beam. Let's see how much... Oh, come on! The heck? Really? Really? You really need to do that? You really need to waste my time? Oh, jeez. Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Just live with 5 HP. Hopefully I have some potions to heal up uh, Yume with. Or I'm going to go to Lollipop as a death father and then bring in Olivia so... Olivia can take care of this pet rat. Because uh, Olivia is in higher level than Yume. Oh, bye! That could have just stayed in. Stupid. Well, then let's go ahead and use a potion on uh, Yume so she gets that... Uh, or he! Always forget this that uh, he it really looks like a she. So he gets up to a respectable amount of health. I'm just going to attack this thing with little pop. Or yeah, I'm just going to tackle it. For not not much damage at all. So hopefully it will take out the little pop. Yep, yeah, bite it! Bite it! Go go go! Oh it lived and it blinked. Hooray! And it's going to bite again, which is going to mean that little pop is probably going to be able to take out this pet rat. Yeah, I'm just, I don't even care anymore. I'm just going to tackle it and uh, kill it. Kill the stupid Petrat. So die! Thank you. And Little Pup is going to g gain a lot of experience, actually. But as I said before, I'm not going to use Little Pup. just happens that I defeated a Petrat. Even grew to level 6. Eh, whatever. Level 7? What the heck? What is this? Why are you growing such many levels to Little Pup? Defeat is... Whoa, oh, oh, come on now! Shocked. He's very shocked that I defeated him. Looks when we're right on our side. I don't know. You don't rent need to return it! Because we are back up! Yeah, we are back up. Uh huh. Come with our powers combined! We are. can go with Captain Planet! Or something! I don't know, but. <laughs> let's go! We are going to have ourselves a little double battle with two Team Plasma Grunts who is going to be using two Patrats. And we are going to have uh, Charon on our side and his Snivy. Which is probably not going to be too much of a he help. And let's see, actually see how much uh, experience Olivia needs. Uh, 333, uh, I'm just going to stay... Uh, no, I'm going to switch out Yume. Just because uh, these uh, Patrats packs uh, bite and super effective against Yume. That's the whole reason why I'm switching out. 
because unfortunately uh, Yume can't take, uh, can take bites very well. And he's going to bite his Snivy. And he's going to attack my Olivia, so go Olivia, go! Let's take out those Petrets! Mm. What are you on it? See how much it does. It does. Take it out, critical hit. Good job, Olivia. Good job. And you make level 13. Nice, nice, nice. And he's trying to learn Imprision, which is not that good of a move. I mean, the only thing it does, it, if he uses it, the opponent can't use the same moves that uh, you, that the other Pokemon use. Like, if Yume has Side Beam and it uses uh, uh, Imprision against another Pokemon that has Side Beam, the other Pokemon can't use Side Beam, basically. So let's just go ahead and go for a war gun with this Pedrat and almost take it out. Oh, but come on, Snivy! Are you serious? Why did you just use Leer? That doesn't make any sense at all. Why did you just use Leer? Ah, oh, it was because it was used by, but that was pointless. Could have taken it out and not waste like 30 seconds or so, I don't know. But now defeated these Plasma Grab. What did we lose? Can't believe that Team Plasma lost to such kids. Yeah, because every every team, every evil team gets beaten up by kids nowadays. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't get it at all. It's your stupid philosophy that doesn't make sense. Uh huh. Okay. He returned a Pokemon, and we are going to be exploring this cave. Let's, I think we have a repel. Yeah, we have a repel. Let's just go ahead and use it. In this cave, you can find Rug and Roll, as you've seen before, and you can find uh, Woobat, which is basically the new Subat, which is kind of annoying. And here we run into a one encounter, which is a Woobat, speaking of the devil, and it's a level 13, in the same level as Yume. But I'm going to get, I'm going to get out of here because. You may oh come on! You may you may can touch this uh, Woobat. And it's a psychic flying type, so it's actually a pretty interesting typing, just like uh, Nato. And here you can grab TM46 Thief. Seems like oh it's always oh here we got an item. It's a normal gem. Actually, sometimes the like round will shake or will be some dust coming out. They're going to be a Pokemon or an item there. A Pokemon is Drillbar, a really good ground type Pokemon actually. And in the grass here, when it shakes, it's like an Audino or something. And then in the water, I don't know what Pokemon it is. And here we have a trainer, so let's go ahead and fight her, I think. Pokemon look quite good. Yeah. Let's go. What Pokemon you pack on your team? Pokemon Breeder Adelaide. And of course, as many Pokemon Breeders, they have a lot of Pokemon. She's going to have a Petrat level 9, and hopefully this Petrat doesn't pack fight, so Yume can take care of this Petrat. So, let's go for the side and let's see how much it does. It does almost a one in kill when it's just going to tackle me. And because I feel like a douche, I'm just going to finish it off with a side wave. Yeah, that's because that's what pe cool people do. They finish off Pokemon with the weaker move. And let's see... Next Pokemon is going to be a Lillipop, which you may can probably take care of it if it doesn't creep me or use Bite or something, and it outspeeds me, unfortunately. I'm going to go for a Tackle, which does yeah, not too much. Well, I'm not too worried at all. Worried at all. Let's see. Oh, let's take that one in. So let's just go for the Side Wave. Tackle. I know I can leave it, even if it is a Critical hit, or I would have taken me out. So let's go. Yeah, let's just go for the Side Wave and take out Lillipop. Gains a little bit of experience and a pedo. Nah, let's just switch out the uh, Yume and bring in Olivia. Yume is actually also about to level up, which is Olivia about to too. So let's just bring her in. Not that about to, but pretty close. Let's just go for a tackle because I think pedo has a little bit better special offense than defense. Or I don't know, but now it goes for a growl, so now I'll definitely go for a war gun. And I don't think it would have mattered too much if I went for Tackle or Vortigone because it would have been too weak kill either way. Yes, you can see here. And it takes it out. Get a Pokemon Breeder. Oh, I see you train them by traveling together. Yeah, which you probably don't. You'll probably stay in the same place. Oh, thank you! Some Auron Berries. Nice, nice. Put that on one of my Pokemon. 
Yeah, they naturally understand each other better, which Team Plasma doesn't understand, apparently. And this is a repel, alright. Let's go ahead and go over here and back to uh, Bianca and this little girl. And they're going to thank me because I'm such a nice guy. Thank, uh, thank you, President. What is this? Heal balls! Thank you for healing my balls. Or, I'm sorry, giving me heal balls. Thank you. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and go and heal up because Yumi said low health and... I mean, why not? And actually, something to correct myself. Uh, I can't read signs uh, from the side anymore. Uh, you can only put one Pokemon at the daycare center at this moment, so don't try to breed or anything, but let's just go ahead and heal up. And after that nice lady heal up my Pokemon, let's just go ahead and head south of here, which we haven't gone yet, and we have a trainer battle ahead. I get you off everything I learned in a trainer school, which is... Nothing, because you don't really need to teach someone about Pokemon. Oh, he's got to have a Blitzel. First time we see a we see a Blitzel in this game, and it's going to be a level 13 Blitzel. And because it's an electric type, I don't think uh, Olivia is going to be too much of a help in this battle, because I think Blitzel's pretty fast too, so Olivia shouldn't outspeed this thing, but Yume is pretty good special offensively, so... Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, good job, Yume. And gain a pretty good amount of experience, actually. Level 14, nice. Cool kid out. Arrgh! Yeah, I couldn't defeat the awesomeness of Yume. And over here, we have an item, it seems. And we have a wild encounter, which is a... P-Dove. All right, let's just go ahead and kill this thing, because I feel like it. So... DIE! I command you to DIE! I'm that evil. Yay! Critical hit! Yumi just hacking things and getting hacks all over the place. But this is a antidote. All right. Oh, not a wild encounter. That was just a patch rat. Nothing too interesting. But over here we have Charon. Stop. Uh huh. Two Pokemon pop up at the same time. Okay. Have to be careful in darker grass because uh, you can have yourself a double battle in the darker, gra darker grass. But I'm not going to go there because there's nothing too interesting in that grass for me. It's the same Pokemon like Blitzel, Pita, Patrats that you can find like on every starting route. This girl is going to have a Woobat which I'm definitely going to be switching out on. But first let's put it to sleep so it won't hurt uh, Olivia too much. Oh, that assurance! Okay, that didn't do too much. Let's just put it to sleep, just because I can. So, Olivia won't have any trouble at all taking it out. So, go, 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 Olivia! Go! There's this Woobat, which looks pretty ridiculous. It has like... I don't even know. It's like a fur ball with wings and a heart on its nose. And one tooth, too, so... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But they look pretty fun, I mean, they look ridiculous and fun at the same time. I mean, it doesn't bother me too much on how the Pokémon looks, I mean, I feel light-hearted, I feel like Pokémon, eh, they're just for fun, this is not serious business, they can look however they want if it's just a Pokémon game, I mean, it's not like they look like a giant turd or something, and apparently I had an Orenberry Olivia that I completely forgot that I had. But hey, I'm not gonna complain, and I'm going to be able to take out that Woobat. And I defeated Marsha, this schoolgirl. Which, uh, is pretty good. And I don't know if it, that is a trainer battle over there, but... Oh, you can see in the water, there is a Pokémon, which is a pretty rare Pokémon. Just like Audino, Drillbur, and such things. But we have an item over here. And this is a Great Ball, so... I'm going to end off the episode right here, so I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a rate, a rating, a comment on this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.